Hello world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest uh, episode of my blog series, like Hello World with Maya Sundermeyer. Now these vlogs are about what it's like to live on the autism spectrum versus how I tackle everyday problems, to how I see the world, to um, giving advice to every neurotypical and every person on the spectrum that I can about uh, how things should be done and how I see things. And, um, and most recently, I started talking about what it was like for me to have friends growing up and uh, having other types of relationships. And um, as uh, most of you saw, I had a hard time and it was incredibly frustrating. Well, there's another twist to that story. Um, when I moved down here in Atlanta in uh, mid-2003, um, I, my aunt had told me that I had an entire uh, slew of social skill problems and um, I didn't know what she meant. At that time I thought it was insulting until one morning I was sitting down eating breakfast and uh, she was able to show me visually. Um, what she did was she, she uh, looked down like this and uh, she said this and she said this is you when, when you greet somebody you go who and then she uh, she started running really, really fast, really, really fast while looking down. And I looked at that and I said, I do that? I don't, I didn't think I did that to your own friend, Lois. And she said, she said, yes, you did. And she, sh she showed me visually that um, when, uh, when her friend came to have, uh, din have an early supper with us, she, I looked at her. Uh, uh, I looked at her for a second and said, "Nice to meet you. Let me go get my pizza." And, um, and you know, and I, and not only did I have problems with um, looking down and um, when I greeted somebody, I also didn't seem to acknowledge their presence very well, or um, I just ignored them. Um, my aunt also said that when I would walk into a store. I would, you know, I wouldn't look at anybody. I would look down and uh, try to uh, go inside, go inside, a, walk inside, and I would cut in line and not really think about anybody else but myself. And uh, to add to the pile of problems, I um, also um, was diagnosed with ADHD, and so I'm very hyper. And when I was younger, I used to talk with this really, get overly excited and talk with this really, really high voice. And, um, and I would talk so fast that um, other people couldn't keep up with my conversations. Um, in fact, I, this was only about four years ago, I was really upset about something. And when I talked, uh, one, of, uh, uh, one guest at my party said that when I would speak, he would... They said that um, I would talk so fast and so high that I sounded like Minnie Mouse. And I wasn't even aware I was, uh, yeah, I was driving other people nuts. Um, now, as I said before, I joined uh, several support, I joined a couple support groups for people on the autism spectrum, and, a, and I took a couple of uh, social, uh, social classes that were, uh, that had the theme of a party only you had a you had behaviorists telling people that they had to mingle and uh, that was where I uh, met most of my friends and but by then I had uh, learned how I had learned how to respect others I had learned how to acknowledge others I had learned how to how to greet others you name it and uh, and, and and again it all started just because I had just because I had my aunt show me visually what I was doing wrong. And so for you parents that are struggling to understand why your, why your child is, uh, why your child or, or your niece or your nephew or your friend, whoever, is having, having difficulties making network connections or being understood, the best thing you can do is uh, try. You know, don't cut them down. Don't tell them you're you're retarded or you can't do anything right. You're you're a jerk. 
Don't use those words. They're hurtful. I think the best type of uh, thing, type of medicine that you can do is tell them, well, uh, maybe, well, maybe you have uh, problems with social. Well, maybe you uh, you have you have some social deficits, and uh, so I'm going to show you. So instead of te instead of telling them directly, uh, show them visually in the form of role playing because it'll help them. So. Um, now, before I go, um, I most recently watched uh, an episode of The Big Bang Theory last night, and I know a lot of fans are leaning on the fact that um, the character Sheldon Cooper uh, lives on the autism spectrum, and uh, so does his girlfriend, Amy Farrah Fowler. But, you know, she, Sheldon shows more, uh, more relevant signs than, he, or, than she does. And uh, a one good example was last night, there was um, an episode, it was a Valentine's Day episode, and Amy Farrah Fowler wanted a romantic relationship with Sheldon, so she, uh, she made arrangements for them to have a uh, romantic dinner in a train setting, since she knows her husband likes trains. But Sheldon Cooper ended up uh, meeting another train fanatic, and he became so excited to talk to a new connection who he could relate to that he completely forgot all about his girlfriend and um, and the fact that he was on a date and uh, so um, Ber so so Bernadette who is their friend uh, their friend and wife to Howard Wallowitz told Sheldon told Sheldon snap out of this you are on a date and had to snap him back to reality so um, if you have any questions or comments on uh, how to better handle uh, handle your situations, and uh, if you think this is wrong, please comment below. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye.